This demonstration is going to show you how to do a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2008 for the Macintosh. What you're looking at is a regular document, a standard document uh, that's t just typed out. The document is called Form Letter Video dot doc X, standard extension for the Macintosh. One of the first things that you want to do when you do a uh, mail merge is, is uh, under the Tools pull down, get the Mail Merge Manager window. So there it is, the Mail Merge Manager window. Again, it's under the Tools, Mail Merge Manager window. In it is six parts. We have a select document type, which is the first section. We have uh, the select recipients list, which is the second. We have insert placeholders, which is the third, and filter recipients, which we probably won't use, and the fifth preview the results, where you can preview the final merge document and then complete the merge, where you can actually print the merge documents out. So uh, one of the first things that we're going to do is we're going to make this regular document that we see right now, we're going to select the document type and do create new, and we're going to make it uh, uh, form letters. So uh, click on the create new form letters and that will select this document called form letter video um, our, uh, our, uh, our form. And then what we're going to do is so we've got our, our, our form letter here we want to uh, create uh, a recipient list a recipient list and to do that under the second section select recipient list first of all we're going to get list and go new data source so this is a brand new data source this is where we're going to uh, uh, create our fields and then populate our fields with people so when you first come into this create data source window it gives you some default ones but it, it thinks that you might want to use but I'm going to go and delete all of those just by clicking clicking the remove field name button so those are all gone now and I'm going to start creating my my own I'm going to create a name uh, placeholder list which is a field I'm going to create an address and add the address and then the last one I'm going to create city underscore state underscore zip and that'll be all one placeholder one field that will include the city state and zip I'm going to add that and then after I get my fields all done I'm going to click OK and it wants me to save this basically we're creating a document uh, we're gonna call this document people so it's called people and I'm going to save the people document and uh, immediately after you save it, you have a data form. These are the three addresses, uh, excuse me, the three fields that we created, name, address, and city, state, and zip. Now we're ready to populate this with some data. So let's type in a name. I'll type my name in first. And the address. And then the city. Um, All right, and then I will add new. So one per we have one person in there. It's myself. I'll add another person. Kurt Smith address. Oh, I don't know. Let's add an address here. Um, Smith Street. Okay, and the city. Let's go. And Florida, let's do a zip. Okay, add new. So right now I have two people in there. I can scroll. There's the second one, there's the first. Okay, so I have two people in there, and I think that's fine uh, for us to demonstrate this. I'm going to click OK. So now what we do is under the insert placeholder, these are placeholders. So what I can do now is in the document, I'm going to make some room at the top for the address. In your regular document over here, which is our form letter, you simply drag the contacts, which are placeholders. And then I would insert another line because I want the address right underneath. Drag and drop. Hit the return 
come over city state zip so this is our placeholder and then within the document itself let's put the name right here followed by a comma so it will actually insert the name there as well so um, with those all set I'm going to minimize the insert placeholders we have the filter reception we're not going to do anything with that here's a preview and uh, if I click the view merge data it actually will show me the data check that out it, within the document itself so this is the first and there's the second and back I only have two in there notice how the deer name changes as well I'm going to turn that off so it just shows the placeholders when you're ready to finish here I can merge to the printer or merge to a new document typically this is what we want to do is merge to a new document so under section number six complete merge I'm going to click and then you'll notice I'm going to slide that aside that there's uh, the document for Kevin here's the document for Kurt okay two people up here dear Kevin dear Kurt using one document and then uh, that's pretty much it so I could print this out submit it and we have performed a mail merge in Microsoft Word 2008 for the Macintosh